a change so hard to bust. Living life in the midst of struggle, gotta stay clear of the trouble. Lord, let prosperity help me while I live in a concrete jungle. The Reaper want to talk a little bit about uh, Kwame Brown. You know, Kwame Brown, shout out to you, Kwame Brown. You know what I'm saying? Because you just speaking your truth and you speaking the truth. And the Reaper always like it when somebody keep it 1,000. And Kwame Brown is keeping it 1,000, you know. Uh, He did not come for them brothers. He kept quiet for years. And he was a 17-year-old kid, and he got abused. And far as these brothers calling him a bust, you know, uh, Kwame is not a bust, you know. I mean, he made the NBA. He made it out of some humble situations that was going on in his personal life. And I wouldn't call that a bust. Now, his basketball skills could have been a little bit more up to par or whatever, if you want to talk about his basketball skills and have an opinion about his basketball skills. But to call the man a bust, he was not a bust because he made the NBA and he's the only player that was chosen number one. You know, uh, uh, he was the only player that was chosen number one out of high school. So I wouldn't call that a bust. And the man... You know, he got abused his whole life. Michael Jordan abused him. And like he said, most people didn't know Michael Jordan did not want him because you don't trash the product, you know, that you drafted. Michael Jordan drafted him so they could trade him to the Chicago Bulls and get Elton Brand. You know, Michael Jordan wanted Elton Brand. And when the owner, A. Poland, didn't trade Kwame, Michael Jordan trashed him. You know, and he couldn't say nothing because it was Michael Jordan. You know, people would have been like, but he drafted you number one. And now you talking crazy about him and everything. So he was smart enough to keep his mouth shut and make his paper, you know. And I believe all of that to be true. And I believe Kwame Brown, you know, is being very truthful uh, about Steven Jackson and Matt Barnes, you know, because y'all came for him. That man wasn't saying nothing and y'all was trying to be funny and slick and everything else. And now he put y'all in check and he telling off on y'all and he's telling the truth. You know, the Reaper keep it 1000 and anybody that come for him in the media, Kwame is telling the truth. Now, what you brothers should do is be quiet now, because he's eating y'all alive. I mean, I mean, he's just eating y'all alive, where Matt Barnes is talking about boxing, and Kwame Brown ain't talking about whooping y'all behind, but if y'all come at him in a way, I'm going to tell you, Matt Barnes, you're talking about boxing, but you don't want none of that country, brother, man. He'll tear you up. You know, hey, man, he'll tear your ass up. The Reaper keep it 1,000. That ain't no lie, man. (laughs) You know, he ain't playing tough and he ain't playing no games, you know. And this is why he's speaking his uh, truth or whatever. And if y'all was real stand-up brothers, 
Matt Barnes, you, you, when, the first thing you should have said, you know, hey, like you said, I didn't, you know, I didn't know I was coming for him, but I tried to DM him. That was the man thing to do, you know, was to try to get in contact with the brother or whatever. But if the brother didn't want to talk or whatever, you should have said, hey, Kwame, hey, man, call me. You know, you could have said something like that, or I've been trying to get in contact with you, you know, but you tried to be funny again with a basketball joke, you know, a basketball joke or whatever, you know, and y'all was trying to be funny again, you know, you and Jack, and y'all need to shut up, man, because that dude is really, you know, roasting y'all bad, and he's roasting anybody that come for him, you know, the Reaper Keep It 1000, he roasted Jamel Hill and told her, you the reason that, you know, uh, a lot of black men is, you know, put down and everything like that because, you know, you get on here with something that ain't even your business and, you know, you ain't even spoke to me, but you saying I'm violent and I haven't been violent towards anybody, you know. Uh, he say, what are you doing it for? And I think she doing it just to get back on TV or the media and everything. And Charlemagne the God, you shouldn't have said nothing, man. That man roasted you so bad and told about, you know, how you raped the woman and everything else, man. And it's on record and everything. You should shut up and so should you, DJ Ify. <laughs> Y'all need to get up off of Kwame, man. Kwame is not having it. And he's taking on all comers and roasting all of you guys. But this is what people got to understand, you know, because the Reaper keep it 1,000. This is what y'all got to understand. Why is everybody in the media trying to come for him and he's just defending himself? You know, that's what everybody got to know. So it's a lot of paid informants out there, you know, that is, you know, uh, in the media, um, you know, to trash black men. You know, you have to say this is because... Why is all of them jumping on the bandwagon to, to come for Kwame Brown? And Kwame, you know, hasn't said anything for years. He has a right to defend himself the way he's defending himself. He has a right to think of th uh, to think things the way he think about things, you know. And he's just keeping it real. You know, I like Kwame. You know, we ain't heard from Kwame, you know. Uh, because he was a quiet brother. He kept his mouth shut and everything, you know. Uh, but now that he's speaking, he's a very articulate brother. And he's roasting y'all in an articulate way and in a street way. And y'all need to shut up, man. Because he's making y'all look real bad. Where Matt Barnes is talking about if you want to box, you want to box. Man, you don't want to box that brother, man. Trust me. Trust me, Matt Barnes. You do not want none of that brother. He going to walk you, man. He going to walk you for sure, man. He wants you to say something like that. So he can walk you. You know, the Reaper keep it 1,000. That's why he wants you to say that, Mark, Matt, because he wants to walk you and Steven Jackson. At least, and Steven Jackson's smart enough to keep his mouth shut because he know how Kwame is. You know, Kwame from, you know, Texas or whatever. Steven Jackson know, you know, hey, to keep his mouth shut. That's why Steven Jackson didn't even come at him like that. But you trying to come at him with less box, man, you don't want none of that, brother, man. Trust me when I say, believe me when I say as I say, because that brother mad, man, I'm just being honest, man, and he's ready for you to come at him like that, so, um, but I think that you brothers deserve, I mean, you brothers need to apologize to that brother, man, you know, and try to make amends and be a man like Gilbert Arenas did, Gilbert Arenas called the brother and apologized, and, you know, um, manned up. I have to say, no chill Gill manned up. He didn't punk out, man. He manned up, man. You know, um, and that's what y'all need to do, but y'all still trying to say funny basketball jokes and Kwame is saying jokes about your life. He said, your life is a joke, you know, and that's crazy, man, because he's coming from a real perspective. He ain't coming from a game. He's coming from a real perspective. And y'all still trying to tell basketball jokes to crack on him and stuff like that. Man, it's just not watching, man. But, uh, hey, if I was y'all, I would be quiet 
where I would try to get him on all the smoke and say, hey, man, let's just squash this, man, and maybe we can get you on the show to get more ratings, you know, I mean, that would show, you know, that you guys are men, but about y'all trying to be slick and talk about his paper and all that, nah, man, that dude ain't about paper, that dude ain't about trying to be cool or whatever, that dude is about being a man. You know, and y'all looking real weak and like real, like boys, man. It's like a man talking to talking to boys, man. Because y'all ain't got nothing else to say, man. Because he's taking on all comers and he's roasting everybody, you know, um, about the about what they doing. The Reaper keep it 1,000. And I have nothing against none of you brothers or whatever because I don't know you. But I'm saying Kwame is tearing y'all ass up. Reaper, we keep it rough, we keep it raw, we keep it real. Make sure you subscribe to the Reaper, because we doing good things here at Reaper. Reaper out. Peace.